はいレッツゴー We had、um, the dame and、uh, their ball to save. If I remember correctly. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the dame first. First, we find Isabel. Did a bloke say he saw ghosts in the past? I saw it with my own eyes. So many people outside the gate, the gate don't speak. <laughs> I can't do it. That's not her. That's her, this girl. The lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashik, but different. Different? I've taken so many. I've lost count. A Kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. Hmm. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Okay. We could leave. The two soldiers were carrying. Damn. Madame, please. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect <laughs> them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case、mm -hmm. you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. Good speech, Isabel. This here is all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look. There's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening.、Mm. I'll have a word with him. Ah,、oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly, and sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I like you to consider my needs. <laughs> Don't have to say it that way. What we need to consider is where the creatures came from. <laughs> And Julie's chaders. To speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> And perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days.、Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Yeah, let's talk to them. Wait a second. Okay. You're a pikeman, yes. What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing. Things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Ah.、Uh. To us. My family. They're still in the capital. It's all right.
Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember hmm. where you were? On the road from Oriflam. And we just passed more when... Oh, when Ma must be destroyed. Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. The two soldiers were carrying an arrow. all they could do to escape I checked a bit the trophies yesterday and there they are two uh, two trophies per summon like fall off Phoenix Gerda Bahamut Titan Remu I have about one on each but I don't have any on Bahamut yet I saw that um, I have to charge my uh, Mega Flare to level 2 a few times. And I have to dodge people while, while doing it too for the other one, I think. Something like that. I'm gonna try to do it. I can't see him. Nice two more. Oh, I didn't expect him to attack this fast. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna succeed to do it. One more. Come on. Here we go. Wait, didn't do it. Let's try another time. You're a fine hound. Wow. I don't know. I might be wrong. I wasn't paying attention to my health or anything. <laughs> I was just trying to train things.
Okay. So I'm not sure how I get... Because I thought it was uh, by dodging while being in Mega Flare, but maybe not. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. Maybe I need to upgrade the spell and... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Mm hmm Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, Malaybe. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me... I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. Uh. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Okay, I'll leave you to that. If you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Mm-hmm. This one was easier than Malthus rest. Right, there's this one left now. Gonna buy some potions before heading to the quest. If I can. Oh. Oh, sorry if you heard that again. <laughs> if I had my pickaxe, I would. Oh, my. Feels like it always happens like an hour or two after I turn on my PC. Uh, window sound. My thanks. An excellent choice. Let's go. in such a sorry state you can blame the band oh yeah it was the bandits that attacked them Sid. your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle <laughs> should i be worried uh, you haven't been introduced jill clive has told me much about you all lies i'm sure your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Uh... Just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Uh -huh. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And <laughs> she won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Chair. Sure. 
suppose we just follow the shouting. Who are they? You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. Well, they both have a point, then. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Wait, who was he? Sid and Lady Jill. I remember his Sorry. name in his face, but I can't remember where we met him. The same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. Mm -hmm. I was here to do just that. When Master Lubor told me about oh. Charles, he thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Just want to check. Okay, there he is. Mm -hmm. Or an entire city for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Yo. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Uh, what well, we can Sid, choose? If it were my namesake. He'd let them choose for okay. themselves. And be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. A recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? Mm -hmm. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. And we're gonna take care of the bandits. Hmm. Your face 
creatures are not well known in this town, that may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. <laughs> So Conrad first. Ah, here she is. The lady of the spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings. <laughs> the guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. Lady Jane question mark it was written as a name to hear from Canberra to inquire about a contract Victor says you told him no that there aren't any men left to hire is that true true as the crystals cracked nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt and not just from us red wings you know of the seven high houses there must be two score swords assigned each one granted we have a few boys left <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. Hey. Well played, Victor. She worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. The brightest candle in the crypt. still be possible to buy something ah here he is now natalie allow me to introduce lord underhill of randalar's prestigious league of merchants they both are the same lord underhill at your service underhill i was just telling the good lady of our conversation my lord and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the okay. capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than i thought if what lord underhill says is true i fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores meager though they regrettably are and while i applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance i sense conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandits likely return which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. Uh -huh. I needn't have gone through this charade. <laughs> you read through it. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say it was good, merely that it produced the desired effect. Uh. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face.
I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Yeah, he did. Time we fight the bandits. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All mm -hmm. of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food. Wow. They want the don't have to them. find them now. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Mm -hmm. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. Yeah. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. <laughs> we'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah. No women folk can come to us. I'll take that one. It's all yours. Oh, I wanted to see if I could uh, switch, but no. Ah. There you go, one of the trophies at least.
It was 100 mfps, so 100 mega flare per second, I guess. <laughs> What was I gonna say? Natalie, I oh. apology. You do Good on you. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, comrade. You saved Dalamil. We all saved Dalamil. Hey, good on them. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. Yeah. They both have. Yeah. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Mm hmm. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid. You fight considerably better than you act. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Okay, I'm over 1,000 uh, reputation. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. Just wanted to check on this. How much is it to upgrade? Uh, yeah, it's this. Is it worth it? Because it's great, but it's slow to fill. <laughs> sure. There's only one level. The Giga Flare is really good too. But this I might change because I don't like it that much. Which other? Wait, so does it use magic when he just. Do normal attacks? Ah no, it's only with magics. Hmm. I might take this instead of that then. Yeah, breath on this. Also, the Phoenix of Hades are available with every. Oh. So with with Phoenix, I could like take. I just realized this. Just, uh, so I could like take this, for example, or this, and get Scarlet Cyclone on. Instead of this. Let's try to do that. Oh no. Uh, uh, no, I can't. Uh, okay. So if I do this. Uh, 
in here. Fix colored cyclone. Ah. Nice. Like if I upgrade this, it's, it can be very, very good. Anything else I can remove? No. Unless you could reset the tone time, never gonna use it. Oh, wait, it's only 40? Oh, never mind. I'll keep it like this. Yo. I wasn't expecting you back. Oh, a cross tree in a roll. Yeah. Oh, I'm at 80 points. So I can upgrade now. <laughs> Wait, it's yellow. I don't think I ever had a yellow item. Upgrade this like this. Pretty sure it's gonna be very good. Yeah. <laughs> it seems pretty OP. <laughs> I, may, I might get less hit to dodge. Uh, now I'm probably gonna upgrade this. We'll see. I'll still on two more of them. Yeah. Was wondering when you turn up. Had our small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Yeah. Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos, and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Yeah. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Thanks, Otto. Clive needs to hear this. Taya says your brother's awake. Oh, thank you. Let's go. So sure. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Mm -hmm. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, 
It was not death who came for me, but a lover. Oh. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? Think, Clive. That is one of many answers. That you can steal every icon's power. <laughs> I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. Eight? But you, Clive. Do you mean you eight? are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Because there was Typhoon. Ultima has been waiting for one you, whose potential is true. Mm -hmm. Limitless. We're gonna be Leviathan. Several times now. If it or he, as you say, need me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind. Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry. Inside you. Uh -huh. Every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him. Before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. <laughs> sure, sure. Sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> yeah. I'm sorry again for my chair if you hear it, but uh, oh. Joshua. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Are we going to Canver? Well, what's the short of it? Oh, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Also, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, oh. that is where you should be bound. <laughs> True deal. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Mm. Five. If he stays close to me. Fine. Thank you, brother. 
Let's go. You're going to travel with Joshua. What will it be today? How may I help you today? Here you are. Table. Mendel. The state all right, of the all right. is ever changing, Clark. I pressed a map. Ah, okay, it's a new one. It's probably gonna go through the place I didn't visit where I was blocked here. Uh, but I'm gonna go the hunts and the side quests first. And there is one new. South of table. Well, it's gonna be on the way then. Let's do the two state quests. Three state quests. Or maybe even more if they have multiple missives. Start with this one. Is a storm coming, Sid? Will there be Sid? Perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. One mystery? I'll try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales. scales. The ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. <laughs> Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to scare the kids. Would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Okay, let's go. It seems the hideaway's lost its hope. It's goods. Maybe a quest with goods. Hey kids. I say we should just tell Oh, it's because he broke kids. That's why they said that they had nothing to do with it. Sid. Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. Oh, and just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become an engineer. Miss Mididol. Uh -huh. The best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. I mean, she has a point. Done. Carry on. Uh, about that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. So then, then, um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Oh. Are we gonna actually have to do their work? All right. 
Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Um. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. <laughs> Does a pants do? These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. Well, what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved. When I tried weighing an apple, and then somebody ate it. Not my fault. Somebody. I should have tried weighing it before lunch. <laughs> you know what part's supposed to move, and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see, it's not so difficult. So... Now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's yeah. what we'll do. Try. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then so the funny, arms Amy. <laughs> by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes. This is one thing. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. Oh, was it just on the floor in mids? Lab? It wasn't on the thing. We missed Mididol's hairs. Her hairs. Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? Not Shirley. From Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley. I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? But good, good way to say it, Clive. No. Do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Never used the cold wheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? <laughs> Did we forgot forget about it? Yeah, good question. Girls here can have Otto and Gav and Yara and Cole and all the rest. My heart beats for another. 
<laughs> so it's Dian, then, I guess. Since uh, now Joshua is uh, out of the infirmary. It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea, although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. <laughs> Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No. Oh. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. Oh. She was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about... I wonder who, who her mother the is. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. <laughs> I just hope we didn't fuck up because we didn't use a cogwheel. Suck once. Can I level up? Knowledge hoarded is knowledge. Nope. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. What is this? Oh yeah, okay. That's the clouds and all. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Wait, there's three? Two other quests plus missives? Damn, they're giving us a lot of quests at a time. More than usual. It seems the hideaway is lost. Oh, it's a lasted book. Hi. Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. All the ingredients. What I need is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't <laughs> want to be seen as playing favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. Oh, wow. I guess you uh, you... Yeah. I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyworm. Okay, worm. It's a heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, 
That's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? A kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, maybe? Kindly. <laughs> I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps he'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> well, you're a bit too confident here. Molly. Hippocrates. He's so useful, Thumbs. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find skyworm livers and Drake's mint. Ah. So the fabled Sambrequa delicacy is next on the menu. It's from Sambrek. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. <laughs> now, Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. How very Sambrequa. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I yeah. believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very colour of the sea beside which it resides. Mm -hmm. So we know what to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach then. Best of luck, Clive. <laughs> Thanks. Do save me a bite once the dish is complete. <laughs> right, let's go. Northridge. Oh, I can't go there yet. Come on. Well, let's let's go here first then. Central Dalmicia. For sure. Oh, Toggle. <laughs> Feels weird to see the three of them in Toggle together. Cloak and Dagger. It's like a dream. Four of us out walking like we used to. Yeah. Enjoying this, are you? All of us. Danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Okay. So yeah, now the oh, there still is yeah. another quest here too. Is it gonna be the the two uh, thieves that were here earlier? Oh, it means it's gonna be a town here. Okay, okay. Can I tip it to the on the world map now? Yeah, nice. I'm gonna do the side quest first and then I'm gonna advance because if I wait for the side quest I'm gonna have too much at a, at a time and it's gonna be annoying to deal with. There were 
Most at the gates, not phase. Oh, come on. Good girl. Run like the wind. Don't get surrounded. Ogoti said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Him. Nice. Harp to Oliver. That's the Wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. Oh, it's these ones. Yep. Nice. So have a few more quests after. <laughs> Exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Yeah. Now then, I would prefer that to you. Are, I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. Hey, it looks better than the and here we have it. other dish. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Looks like fried chicken. Well, I say offered. He is good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? So how is it? <laughs> He's dying. So, not fit for consumption then. What? What witchery? Is this so I'll say that it's good. The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force, 
a force of nature even or the force from a flavor and sensation a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber i think he likes it well, i can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking <laughs> yeah right. Might be right it was decent then i take it decent it's remarkable and i defy any man to say a word to the contrary sit might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. <laughs> what about Tom's? He wanted to get a bite. Okay. So. Goods, what's up? What am I gonna do? Let's go about the skies. Uh -huh. But no more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for an eye. All right, goods. You seem more discomposed. Than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's... <laughs> it's alright. Why is she tremble? There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like... Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Focus saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks. Even though Karen scares me. You let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. It's still locked here. Oh, it's behind Karen's thing. That's why. <laughs> Didn't realize the first time, I think. <laughs> Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then. Both in and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? <laughs> Once in five long years do you pay my affairs half the care? But here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. <laughs> Asking. Out of interest. All right. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. She's gonna get mad. About you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I... I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? Mm, of course you not. You profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be the were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right now, Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. 
the day. Love said at least that she didn't doubt her, but she wanted to kill her Misa Dunstaning or something. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. Why would people say she was? What did she ever do? To them? She's too successful. It's right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Yeah. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Yeah. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'll go with you. Hey. The bandits may be needed. Look what they've left. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. <laughs> the gentleman yeah. of the town guard. Here he is. Could be I know something more. Uh, Clive, listen. I've found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. The wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price. Be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged call for swords and spears and who uh, will they all turn uh, to to keep them in steel why the good reaper herself <laughs> and you've seen this reaper at work aye it just so happens I have you'll find her right here plying her trade most days here in Delamil where exactly she has a stall here in the market but if you're not the best, someone else called Karen, you'd probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not. She's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Yeah, exactly. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this <laughs> storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goods. You too, Goods. Oh, you <laughs> did see it. <laughs> Gentlemen of the town guard. What a mess. Where do we... yeah, it is here. Yeah. You fought very bravely. Safety of the town is in our hands. Ready, go. Okay. Time to brave the That's the storehouse. Is 
So who's in there? Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. <laughs> They were attacking me. Oh. I'm doing it too early, I guess. A player dodge. Another one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on. One. Two. Three. It wasn't blue this time. Wow. Go just gonna go to five. Oh, come on. Well. Wow. I'm gonna need to check the trophy if it's still is this or not, but Done it now. Go on. Tell me what <laughs> I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. Uh -huh. you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! <laughs> you, you say that while you run away. That's not how it works. It's good. Okay. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout. Stop calling me names and stop spreading them honorable lies about Nan. <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood? Good. Are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. How so? Loathsome harpies, very existence is a crime. 
I... Is that about her past that she was saying? Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Hey, let's go, goods. No. Enough, all of you! Oh. How did you? It's because of uh You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Yeah. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain sniveling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years <laughs> came to mind. <laughs> Though it uh... was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? I just wonder about her left eye. You, like. you bitch! Everything that happened. Is it a glass eye or is it? Your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Ah. Uh. Hey, let's go, goods. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <laughs> let's go, goods. You great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Oh. Wise words, I Wise words. Oh my god. It's time to collect. When, just when I said about her eye. Oh my god, Karen. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. Oh my Dead god. Going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. Oh. I mean. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. I just want... Old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Just when I said it. Stolen from his strong box. I done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt mm. me, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but what if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something <laughs> tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Mm. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive. Damn. Karen is wild. <laughs> Remind me never to cross you, Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's only fair, I guess. An eye for an eye. Just like the name quest of the the name of the quest. Oh damn! Didn't expect her to do it herself. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. 
like you've protected me. Oh. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. Oh. Both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always <laughs> been me right, I do. Oh. I'd have to stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Oh, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again, and you can't stop me. Good. <laughs> oh, big <laughs> I love them. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. I love them, Bo. <laughs> There's nothing he won't do for you. Yeah. This is maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Yeah, that's true. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. <laughs> his family. Stop it. You make me one good <laughs> Don't go thinking my that already is nervous. already are uh, it got fit today I'll cost you the same as it did yesterday wow I didn't expect uh, Karen to be like that about goods like I knew they were close but not this close like so she took him in Good to know all sensor. Mm-hmm. So you can read. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen. <laughs> wow, okay, Karen. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Only this quest left. Uh, this side quest keep it's making making me cry. I can't. <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay. So thanks from uh, both of them. Mm-hmm. My quark. <laughs> I switched a quark on the old delivery. Okay. Was it Sebastian Rutherford? Oh, Sinus, Sinus told to load by and... It's gonna be a Byron side quest, or...? Let's check it out. Rutherford. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he yeah. be at Martha's rest? Rutherford. I didn't pronounce it very well, I think. Uh I love Karen in goods now. <laughs> this side quest was so good. Over there. Is that you? Please. It is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's not offending. Continue. We just want I to know. I am here at Martha's rest, at the behest of your lord uncle. 
Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt. I'm so proud that people uh, know that we break the Mother Crystals and this happening and they are still behind us. Like, I thought we would have a lot of mistrust. ...believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It yeah. Is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the seven high houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. Alright. So... Oh. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. Let's hope someone here has seen something. Yeah. Mummy. The gentleman of the town guard. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. Let's go. Someone's got himself in trouble. I'm lucky if it, we already found him. I don't see your master here, so you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. Oh. <laughs> It became bright all of a sudden. Steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please, these men are trying to rob me. I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master then. <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, you can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison. No republic anymore. Captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. Oh, that's not the ability I wanted to use. Oops. That's what I wanted to use. <laughs> Why did the fire explode it like this? I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. 
He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. I, I arrived in Dalamil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. Oh, what the, the hell? No more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. Mm -hmm. Fist Central Command. Surely yeah. they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked, answering to no one but themselves. Mm. It's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. You won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? No, can not my problem. <laughs> not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at North Reach and see if I can pick up his trail. Sure. Yeah. Road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Good girl. Let's go. Oh, it was maybe Joshua. I thought he was with us. Oops. Straight home now. That's probably what the flame warrior at the end of the last fight. <laughs> If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven yeah. houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has you, you recognize us to uh, just now. Steward. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did not yeah. to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pummel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. Okay, let's go find them. Seem to be not very far away. They just couldn't resist, could they? I tried to dodge, but my bad.
But I never use a semi prime uh, form. Could use it more often. Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal Throne. <laughs> it's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Yeah, that's Sometimes true. They don't even send out patrols. And they are there on tools with the uh, Akashic the grain. monsters. The stores are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall <laughs> return to Northreach right away. Good. Allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I'd got to. I shall send a Vistolus as soon as I'm able. Hey. Bye, good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. Yeah, one piece. still here the rest's location affords a constant flow of traders and with it a constant flow of information mm -hmm. Speaking of which i received word from both my associates they have resumed their investigations thanks to you i only happen to be in the right place at the right time they both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim i am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And mm -hmm. we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. As it is yeah. mine. Okay, good. That's it for the side quest then, I think. Oh, flare breath. Oh, yeah, but I put it uh, away here. Okay, nice. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're three. Uh, yeah, and the hunt is just after this, so let's go there. So. So, so. I'll explore this quickly. And we're when we arrive here, I think we're gonna have a bigger zone. Zone. First there's gonna be the city. I oh, know, city here. Or maybe the zone is gonna be here then. Yeah, it might. No, it's because it's Well, we'll see. Well, now we're just gonna explore. Oh, a second time. I didn't know. My bad. 
tried to to press circle and dodge, but I did another time. He got hit me from here. Oh what? I didn't expect him to be so fast. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of hard. Oh, already? Oh, I thought he would be down first. <laughs> dead yep damn we deal a ton of damage it feels like we deal way more than before okay so there already was nothing here okay you see the they are after here. Nothing yet. Chill, come on. Oh. He was just looking at him. Can make Toggle bark when I do this. Sus. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Oh yeah, the echoes, they call them. Kill. Damn. 
We stagger him so quickly. Regal Sash. Hey, that's better. Let's go. Yeah, that's where I thought it was. Can we fall actually here? I don't I don't want to try. If we could fall here. <laughs> I mean I could just TP back over there, but let's go. Here? Yeah. Okay, let's go. The bolts, they are not flying away when I do this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Giga Fire is so cool. Oh. The old guy here. Damage it does. Imagine when I'm gonna have it upgraded. people oh is it down there uh, yeah. let's leave this place i wanted to try to press circle to go faster but i'm scared that it's, it's gonna put me down there Okay. 
so she's she's like very strong then. If he has that much faith in her. I already said it before, but the one thing I don't like about this game is the sprint. I wish I could sprint, like, myself, but I can't. I have to wait five seconds walking like this, and then you start sprinting, and then it's a pain when you stop. I do. <laughs> Where are you now, then? Bound for the free cities, perhaps? Oh, no need to say if you'd rather not. We all have our reasons. I ain't exactly feeling like sharing with strangers myself at the mo. Truth be told, we could do with a bit of inspiration. Don't know which way to turn no more. There's been mm. a roaring tree back in Oriflam. Right up until the poor Drake lost her noggin. Oh. So, thought I'd try me luck in the desert. No. I went the same way. And don't get me started on the mess in the blooming Dominion. I suppose I could try Camber next. But no my luck. The old place be crawling with a works void even side me stall. Uh, uh, say, when there's crisis, there's opportunity. The opportunity to mint skill, that is. <laughs> so, where to next? I didn't expect the conversation to stop like this. Huh? The works even carry skill. <laughs> I didn't expect the conversation to end up like this. Uh. I thought he was saying that he was out of luck, but I guess the opposite. Oh. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My old men did this. Turned. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. There's a village not far from here. A Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the <laughs> yeah let's go you catch your breath thank you oh uh, encampment is up ahead just off the track <laughs> they must not reach Tava. yeah Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. Uh. You said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Still over there? Yeah. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Yeah. Good. I got here in time. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm almost level 39, is it? Someone yeah. Please, I, I can't move my leg. That doesn't sound like an Akashic. What is it? Fine. Oh. Oh. Italian. I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Faber is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, uh, can I start <laughs> this safe place? You seem familiar. Have we met? No. You must have me confused with someone else. Yeah, it's better either than no. Oh. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kostnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kuka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kuka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Um, what? Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. I mean, he's saying us to live. I thought he wanted to fight us. They're confusing. You will regret not killing me when you had a chance, Sid. I will avenge my master. Hmm. And the bridge is broken. Oh, nice. Almost passed next to that. Come on, you can climb. Okay. Empty shard again. I know what it is, probably something to sell, right?
Nothing here. Well, let's go. Uh, what is it? A table? Something like that. Good. I can only argue the last two child days, right? Oh, level up. Nice. Let's go. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Oh, look at that chocobo sleeping. Oh. I wish I could pet it. Joshua. There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be a bit of a mess to explore this. This I can't read it. to go around like this a little bit the chest Cereal? Who's oh, cereal? Oh. 
Obelisk. Okay, how you pack that leather any creases or scratches will bring down the price it's already went here right we go through in there what do you sell take a look at my wares Sure. Of course. It is. Anything else? Take care. I feel like I've fleshed a hundred skins today. Stay focused, will you? One yeah. that scrape in a hundred. So are we gonna leave later? Stand back, friend. You don't wanna get this stuff on you. Forgive me, traveler, but no matter how deep your pockets might be, we only sell to trusted patrons. I do hope you've not had a wasted journey. Oh. So I went through here, right? Beneath the flood, yes. And nothing else here? Yeah, I do want here. I recognize here. Okay, that's all. Let's go. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystal. Okay, let's get in. So, who is it gonna be? Let's see yachts. Maybe. Someone's gonna surprise us. Oh, not ready. My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. Yote. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Dying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, uh -huh. they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. Oh, okay. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Ah, nice, Lady Yote. Yeah. You saved my brother. 
I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any... Einherjar? The Black Galleon. Oh, so... The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent uh, events at yeah. Fang, I That's sent the name. a malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas. Oh, so he wants to kill Gavin Mead, actually, so... Does he want to make... safe here in the Agora. The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. Because Barnabas wants to make uh, Clive an empty shell. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame. Blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you! Yep. Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The King... He has come to save us from the Akashi. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is <laughs> compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, better them and see our guests to the dungeons! Oh, well, there were no guards anymore, but they still are. Wait, did he kill everyone in the room? That you should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. Damn. Well, them too. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Hmm. A consciousness mythos is inextricably bound. And in next oh, yeah, control. so I did guess that. That's why he's that here. He's made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Hmm. 
He really is Ultima's puppet. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. What tapestry? Oh, that's what we saw under Phoenix Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. Yeah. You could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant. Even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. Oh. That figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is uh -huh. rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No. Makes sense. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? The lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If, if that is your wish, your grace, but please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... She loves him. Oh. So what, like, what is she going to do? My lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Oh. I kind of feel bad for her. There better be nothing happening to Joshua in the next uh, few hours of game play. Let's find our friends. Yeah, but I'm just gonna check. Nothing. Hmm. Well. She cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. Mm-hmm. Oh, there, there is a side quest here. Two side quests. And there are, there are so many side quests, because I have done so many already. Like, I check. Yeah. But I'm gonna stop here for today.
and uh, I'm gonna do the side quest uh, tomorrow and the rest. Yeah, I felt tired. And uh, I want to be focused to play this game. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, and then I'll see you probably tomorrow. Yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.